Hello. Uh, today we will discuss a very interesting power electronics semiconductor device, uh, which is popularly known as UZT. UZT, and it stands for Unijunction Transistor. So in today's class, we will discuss the uh, architecture, construction architecture, then we will discuss the symbol and the VI characteristics. In previous video, I told you how this UZT is used to generate uh, the triggering pulses for uh, power semiconductor devices such as SCR or MOSFETs, etc. So, in today's class, we will discuss the basics of UZT. As the name suggests, UZT it is unijunction transistor. So, if we start discussing the construction then in construction uh, it has basically an n type of semiconductor bar so let's say uh, this is an n type of semiconductor bar so this entire bar is of n type of semiconductor material so these are the external terminals used for connections okay let us name this terminal b2 and name this terminal as b1 okay and this is basically an n type of semiconductor material okay so this is n type of semiconductor material n type silicon bar it may be a p type bar but generally it is n type of material now what is done at one side lateral side of this particular silicon bar silicon crystal bar an opposite polarity material is doped so here i will show this this is an opposite polarity material is doped okay so let me show it by different color so this is a p type semiconductor material opposite to that of p so this is p type material okay and therefore you can see only a single junction you can see this is a single junction is formed okay and this is single junction and that's why it is called as unijunction the name uni stands for single okay so therefore you can understand that in unijunction transistor there is only a single junction now you can see this n type of silicon material is very lightly doped this is lightly doped and since it is lightly doped it provides very high resistance it provides very high resistance so if we want to draw the uh, uh, representation electrical representation of this equivalent circuit then we can show that since this is a single pn junction we can denote it by a simple diode okay so this is my diode okay so this diode represents this pn junction and here there is a resistance okay so internally this part is one resistance and this is another resistance okay so there are two resistances internally available so i can show it here like this so this is one resistor let's name it as rb2 and let's name this resistance as rb1 okay so this is what the internal electrical uh, representation electrical equivalent this is called as electrical 
equivalent representation electrical equivalent representation of uzt okay so i can represent this uzt uh, by this type of equivalent circuit so if we want to uh, show it symbolically we can show it like this so it has three terminals as you can see here this is base 2 this is base 1 and i can take out one more terminal from this side and this terminal is called as emitter okay so there are three terminals one is this emitter okay so this is e e stands for emitter then this terminal is called as a base 2 I will name it as base 2, B2 and there is one more terminal here and this is called as base 1. Okay. So these are the three terminals and this is the symbolic representation of UZT. So UZT is a three terminal device. This terminal is B2, base 2, this is base 1 and this one is emitter. This is the internal electrical equivalent representation of UZT. Okay. Now let us go to study how uh, the VI characteristics of this device looks like. Okay. So let us open a new page. We will go here and open a new section. So let us understand what is the VI characteristics. So V in V I characteristics, we are going to plot uh, voltage versus current graph. Okay, so on one axis, I'm going to plot current, and on another axis, I'm going to plot voltage. Okay, so uh, here I am applying, let's say, emitter voltage, and here I am monitoring the emitter current. Let us draw the equivalent circuit. So here there is a diode okay, and there is internal resistance. This is called as RB2. This is a common point and this resistance is called as RB1. Okay, let us connect a battery in between these two potential points. Okay, and let us connect one more battery here. Let's denote this as VE, okay, current flowing in this direction. This is, let's call it as a VBB. So, uh, actually, you see, this resistance, RB1, is a variable resistance. Okay, this resistance, where is? this is not a fixed resistance. And the voltage across these two points, let us denote it as a V1, is calculated by V1 is equal to RB1 we apply a potential divider formula here RB1 divided by RB1 plus RB2 into VBB this is simple potential divider formula we are applying so voltage V1 what we are going to get here is nothing but this potential we call this ratio as eta and eta is called as intrinsic standoff ratio intrinsic standoff ratio and uh, therefore we get this v1 value as eta times vbb now you see how this uzt will work this uzt will work only and only when the voltage VE is greater than VT plus eta times VBV, where this VD voltage is nothing but the voltage drop across this diode. So this diode will start conducting only and only when this emitter potential increases above this value. When the voltage is below this value, the UZT is in the off state. 
So how we can show it in this VI characteristics graph? So let's say this is origin. So when there is no emitter voltage or when emitter voltage is less than this VD plus eta times VBB, there is a leakage current. Okay, and this leakage current flows in this reverse direction that is denoted as IEO. So this leakage current here, okay, we'll mark it here, IEO will uh, be in this direction. It, it is flowing in reverse direction and as you increase the voltage and when this voltage becomes equal to, uh, let's say, let's assume that this voltage is some finite voltage okay so let's say v1 is equal to let's say 5 volt so when this ve voltage reaches to this voltage then what will happen when this is 5 volt and when v reaches to 5 volt whether diode will conduct or not diode will not conduct because both the polarities anode and cathode are at equal potential and therefore diode will not conduct till 0.5 volts so what will happen the leakage current will be will become zero in that case so this current will go on decreasing will go on decreasing and at this particular voltage at this particular voltage ve voltage where this uh, reverse current will become zero okay because diode is uh, having same potential at both uh, the anode and cathode now what will happen if I further increase the voltage then current will further starts increasing alright so current will further starts increasing in this direction and till this point when this is let's say VD potential when I increase the potential above this okay then diode will uh, current will go up to this direction okay and from this point onwards so this potential is called as VP voltage where so I can show here that when this VE potential becomes equal to VD plus NVVB, this is called as VP potential, which is called as a peak point. So at this peak point, the current which is noted is called as the peak current, is called as the peak current. And in this particular uh, or from this particular point onwards, your UZD starts conducting. Okay. Now, there is very interesting phenomena to observe and is that moment you increase the voltage further moment you increase voltage further it should happen that current should also increase but it will not happen the current will decrease exponentially like this okay so current will decrease up to this point and if you further increase the voltage current will not decrease beyond this value this particular point is called as I V or it is known as a valley valley voltage and suddenly there is a drop across UZT drop in voltage across UZT and this drop in voltage is called as valley voltage okay and further uh, the current will increase in positive direction so this is what the characteristics of UZT VI characteristics you can observe in this particular region this particular region the UZT offers negative resistance property UZT offers negative resistance property and because of which although we are increasing voltage in positive direction the current decreases from this point peak point to valley point okay and this region is denoted as negative resistance property and this property due to this property of UZT we are using it for designing uh, pulse generating circuits in various pulse generating circuits okay this particular region is used uh, to generate the various pulses in uh, 